Welcome back to Palangi 21. Today I will show you an Iranian drama film from 2011 titled Circumstance. Atafay and Shireen are two best friends in high school. Atafay is born in a rich family with a high social status. Her parents are doctor and businessman. Meanwhile, Shireen is an orphan who lives with her uncle and grandmother. The two of them are very close, and always do anything together. Even Atafay is willing to pay for Shireen's tuition. Atafay has an older brother named Marin who has just returned from a drug rehabilitation center. Marin used to be a musician, and had an addiction to drugs. After returning home, he decides to stop being a musician even though his parents are against it. Atafay and Shireen seem like good and pious women. But they are secretly doing everything that is forbidden. They go to a party, drink alcohol, and take drugs. In a drunken state, they do vandalism, and steal a purse from inside the car. They laugh and share a kiss. At home, Marin trying to overcome his addiction. Atafay tries to tell Marin about what happened last night. It seems that Atafay and Marin used to be very close. But Marin decides to stop doing negative things, and tries to become a devout Muslim. This makes their relationship become distant. Meanwhile Shireen's uncle begins matchmaking her with a man. Later on, Atafay's family invite Shireen to go to the beach together. They are all having fun by the beach, and playing volleyball. Marin then invites his father to swim. While women were forbidden to swim in public places. Atafay's father hopes that one day they can all swim together. That night, Atafay and Shireen sleep in the same room. Shireen suddenly cries, and Atafay approaches her. She sleeps next to her and hugs her. Shireen tells her that she has to get married soon, but she loves Atafay. She hopes that they can escape together to Dubai where they will finally be free. The next day, early in the morning they go to the beach. There is no one there, and they use this opportunity to swim at the beach. On the way home, Marin asks his father to stop the car as it is time for him to pray. At home when no one sees them, Atafay and Shireen freely drink wine, listen to western music and make out while speaking their minds. They wish they can be free to do whatever they want. Meanwhile, Marin begins to fall in love with Shireen, and he tries to get close to Shireen. He helps in the mosque, and becomes close with the police chief. He then gets a job as a morality police. Later on, Atafay, Shireen, and their two friends visit a western movie shop which mostly sells movies that are banned there. They think that one day they will change this situation. Meanwhile Atafay and Shireen have a fight, and Shireen leaves by herself. She gets into a taxi, and the taxi driver harasses her. Later on, Atafay and Shireen go to a bar. Marin also comes there. He notices his sister and Shireen. His friend Ali sees him, and says he hasn't seen him in a long time, and offers him drugs. Meanwhile, Atafay and Shireen are drunk and have fun dancing. Atafay is worried about her, because Shireen isn't usually like that. Shireen says that she doesn't want people to tell her what to do. Just then, the morality police arrive and disperse the crowd. Atafay and Shireen are separated in the crowd, while Marin encounters his friend Ali. He beats him up saying that he is the scum and never changes. At home, Marin starts to change. He starts to stay away from his sister, because he feels that his sister is dirty. Shireen, Atafay and their two friends do a dub for the movie Milk. Later on, Atafay and Shireen are arrested by the morality police. They are interrogated, and they are required to do a complete physical examination, especially regarding the virginity test. The police chief meets Atafay's father, and says that his daughter was no longer a virgin. Atafay's father is angry, but the police chief tells him that he can't control his daughter. He opens up that it is not easy to raise a daughter, because he has a daughter himself, but she is abroad and he no longer considers her as his daughter. They understand each other, and Atafay's father is willing to bribe the police so as not to let this matter further. He then notices that his son Marin has been working as a morality police. It was he who reported and caused Atafay and Shireen to be arrested. After that, Marin visits Shireen. He offers to Shireen that he can erase all traces of her crimes on the condition that she will marry him. On the way home, Atafay's father scolds her. He forgives her this time, but he doesn't want her to repeat the same mistake. For what happened, Shireen's uncle tells her to get married. Meanwhile, Atafay's father takes Atafay hiking. He tells her about his rebellious past, but she doesn't want to listen to her father's advice. Her father says if she thinks that other places are better, then she can go. 
Shireen agrees to marry Marin, but Atafei's parents don't tell Atafei about this. When Atafei learns that her older brother Marin is getting married to Shireen, she is devastated and drives drunkenly until she is stopped by the police. Her parents take her home, and advise her that she can't act like a child anymore, and she has to accept the reality. In the end Marin and Shireen's wedding take place. Atafei looks sad at their wedding. After that, Shireen lives with Atafei's family. Atafei and Shireen don't speak to each other. They wash the dishes together, and Shireen tries to touch Atafei's hand, but Atafei refuses her and immediately leaves. Marin's love to Shireen turns into an obsession. He secretly installs many cameras in the house. He does that to spy on Shireen. One day, Marin buys land for himself and Shireen. He plans to build a house for them. Atafei doesn't want to listen to them and leaves. Shireen wants to go with Atafei as they had not spoken to each other in a long time. But Marin forbids her to approach Atafei, because Atafei is a bad influence for her. One night, Shireen wakes up and decides to go to Atafei's room. She admits that she still loves her very much, and nothing will change regarding their relationship. Then they kiss and make love. One day while at a party, Marin gets jealous seeing Atafei and Shireen playing the piano together. He doesn't want his wife to sing, and wants to separate Shireen from Atafei. He tells his father to control his daughter, and he will control his wife. That night in their room, Marin admits that he loves Shireen, and implies that he knows about her relationship with Atafei. Marin then forces Shireen to make love, and asks the reason why he is not enough for her. The next day, Atafei sees her father with Marin praying. She realizes that her father is starting to change. She then checks Marin's laptop, and finds that Marin has installed many cameras in the house. Marin keeps the recording between Atafei and Shireen, and she realizes that Shireen already knew about this. The next day, she buys plane ticket and visa to Dubai. Later on, she comes to Shireen's room and tries to kiss her, but Shireen doesn't respond. She asks what she is afraid of because they are alone there. She goes towards the camera, and asks if this is what she's afraid of. They kiss but they both realize that their relationship can't continue like this. She asks her to go with her, but Shireen refuses. Atafei then goes to Dubai alone where she can finally be free. This is very bold film with the theme of LGBTQ plus in a conservative environment. They manage to lift the story about lesbians, by showing two Iranian women who are in love and share every moment together. This film does not only focus on the drama of their love story, but it also addresses topics that are considered taboo such as alcohol, vandalism, theft, drugs, and even patriarchal culture. This film is able to make a bold statement about the treatment of women in modern Islamic countries. One of the things that was also highlighted by the director was how religious authority seemed to affect the intimacy of family, lovers, and friends. Sometimes if circumstances do not support us, then we must be able to accept the reality rather than deny it. Every actor acted really well, especially the two main characters. I can feel the frustration of those who love each other but can never be together. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notification.